Hey guys, uh, my name is Patrick Garisi. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. First of all, I just want to say thanks for clicking on my video. Hopefully you enjoy this and hopefully you watch it to the end. If you do, give us a thumbs up and uh, give us a subscribe. We really much appreciate it to help my small YouTube channel go into a big one and uh, create more cool videos. It's uh, currently 9.09 p.m. in uh, Australia, Melbourne, and uh, it's gonna be a clear night tonight. And uh, what I'm gonna do tonight is go out to an area called Pikes Creek. It's about 40 minutes here. It's gonna be clear skies, and uh, we're gonna shoot some Milky Way action. Please follow the arrow on the display. Seven Eleven. They've got some new service thing. I guess maybe after hours, I have to like give her my cup through this box thing here. I pay through here, like like some uh, ticket thing, like ticket tech buy tickets at a at a carnival. get a little bit nervous too when I go out and Milky Way shooting. I don't know, you're just going out pitch black at night and you go into a spot with low light pollution so it's always pitch black and usually you go out to a spot where there's some wildlife and that. I don't know, even, we're in Australia there's kangaroos everywhere so um, hopefully a kangaroo doesn't jump at me. I went to uh, this spot once called U gangs and uh, I, I've done a time lapse there with my GoPro actually and then um, I saw I heard like rustling and stuff and I turned my torch and there's like two kangaroos about about fifth, maybe 30 meters away away I think I was just looking for food but uh, yeah, it's enough to sort of give you a little bit of a few hairs uh, raised at the back of your neck but I just ignored them and they ignored me and I just kept shooting photos. 
But it's pitch black, so you don't know, like, you could turn around, there's a kangaroo right there. You're gonna punch you or something. You know, so. Anyway, um, I'll uh, see you when we get there, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see some stars in the video, but we'll see the, we'll post, I'll post the photos, and uh, we'll, we'll see how nice it looks. All right, I'll see you, see you guys. Hundred lumen torch. Now, this is water it looks a bit shit. Okay, let's have a look down here. I remember I climbed. Well, there's rabbits. Rabbits, rabbits. Oh shit, man. There's no water. Okay, no. Nah. The water is filled up right to the right to the edge where I was supposed to walk. There is no way I'm gonna be able to do what I wanted to do tonight. No fucking way. This is filled up. Oh my god. Normally it's not this full. There's no like normally you could walk here. Look how full it is. All this rain that we've had. Let's have a look over here. I bet you this is all full too. Damn, we're coming. Here. I've been coming for nothing. I have to take some photos just up on the high ground, which is kind of crap. Someone here. I don't know if they're doing a bit of uh, under the night romance or something. Last time I came here, there was no one. Well, hasn't this turned out to be a crappy YouTube video? There's nowhere to take a decent composition down there. There's too much water. All the rocks are all submerged in deep water. I'm just going to go have a look over there. There's a park area where you can sit down and stuff. Um, oh, I had a look there last time. It wasn't very that, that interesting. If not, I'm just going to take use my car as a... As a foreground subject, I'll just park near. There's a boat ramp, just park near there and take some shots there. Sorry, guys, but uh, you know, this is what happens. This, this is what happened. I thought that someone was behind me, man. I'll just shoot myself, but it's actually the reflection of my headlamp in my rear vision mirror. I thought it was a car. Whew, yeah. it's scary out here, man. I'm telling you. So, I don't know how well you can hear me or see this, but I've set my time 20 seconds so this lens to be exact is 21 seconds that's just going by the NFP rule Ever that you can uh, do 
in Australia except for clouds and full moon because the wind is like knocking the uh, tripod about so Just before I decided to leave, I thought of something that might be a pretty cool idea. So I've got this um, electronic battery headlamp. Um, what do you call it? Lanterns? Yeah, a battery powered one. But so I, I held that in front of the camera, stood in front of that, and um, took some shots. But that is way too bright. So I don't know, I'm not sure if they turn out good. We can see what we could do in Lightroom. Um, we'll go through the editing process I'll probably just go over it real quick to make the, sh the video a bit shorter otherwise it will take too long but um, hopefully we got some shots uh, a bit disappointed that yeah I didn't get to go where that little spot where that tr broken tree was where I planned but um, well at least we came we, we, at least we came we're coming home with better than nothing so um, yeah so I'll see you back at the computer and uh, We'll go from there and hopefully by the time I no, I'm building a new computer but I won't wait that long for you guys I'll do it for you like I'll edit the photo tomorrow <laughs> look I magically got changed um, what I decided to do this part of the vlog uh, again uh, the reason why is because remember I told you uh, in the car that I um, had an idea and I wanted to do a photo of my lantern, holding up my lantern. When I first saw the raw photos of that, I thought um, the lantern was way too bright, which I did think originally anyway. But um, I thought, I was just about, actually I was just about to delete that raw file because I thought oh, I'm not even going to bother editing it. But then I thought uh, before I delete it, I'll just quickly chuck it in Lightroom and see what I can do. And it actually turned out pretty good. So um, like this is the photo of the car that I originally thought was going to be okay, but I wasn't actually, it's a bit boring anyway. This photo here, that's edited. Um, but then this is the one with me holding the lantern. I did some photoshopping with it too, and it actually turned out pretty good. But I want to edit it again, so uh, we can do that together, but I'll probably, I'll fast forward it a bit because it will take, it will make the video way too long. But. Um, if you want to check out how I do edit my Milky Way photos in Lightroom, check out this other video. I'll leave a click the eye. It's my A7 III Astro Photography. Was it that? Is it a really long? I can't even remember. It was a tutorial. Tutorial. It was a A7 Mark III uh, Milky Way tutorial on uh, settings, editing, and uh, shooting. So, so with this photo here, um, come and have a look at it. This photo here. Um, what I want to try and fix is see the uh, black, the very dark shadows there. I might make that all green. And um, I got rid of a sign or I cropped it out, I can't remember, but we'll, we'll have a look at the raw. And uh, this, um, I'll just, what else can I do to this? Oh yeah, there's a uh, bit of uh, light pollution there. Might spend a little bit more time getting rid of that light pollution. That, that's from a town, so you can't really help that. But um, that's pretty much it. I mean, and that's a single shot. That's not stacked. Uh, I don't have. I didn't take any multiple sh photos of that um, because I, I was actually standing in there, and that would have been hard to stand still for twenty for ten shots. Or well, I guess maybe I could try that next time, and then stack them together, and they'll align and stuff. So, but that is another video. All right. Let's get let's get into Lightroom and uh, try and edit this and make this really cool. So this is the raw file. I'll just show you again. That's the raw file, and um, it's pretty amazing how I was able to get a lot of that tree out. So you can see here. Let's get into develop. 
you can see here, like, look how blown out the, uh, where I'm just underneath my feet there. Really blown out, and I thought, ah, oh, it's ruined. But, um, we'll try and, I'll, we'll go through the editing process, I'll go through the edit, edit process again. I'll uh, try and do some of those touch-ups that I was talking about. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks like at the end. So, stay tuned. So we're just exporting that now and we'll see how it looks like uh, while that's exporting. This is the uh, version without the Photoshop. You can see it's a little distorted uh, on the uh, where the handlebars are. I was able to bring that distortion back to normal. I did have to crop it a little bit. That always happens with a really wide lens. 40 millimeter lens, it's pretty wide, so that's bound to happen. But uh, this is the original RAW. I'll just show you again. See that, that oops, sorry. So that looks pretty ordinary. But uh, yeah, it's amazing what the data in a RAW photo can bring out in Lightroom. And uh, this is the Photoshop version. Just made the Milky Way pop out a lot more. So I've exported that, so we'll bring that up. Uh, let's check that out. My computer's really running really slow. It's really annoying. But I'm gonna build a new computer soon. I've got all the parts sitting there. Anyway, I better not get carried away. I'm really excited for that, but I'm gonna do a video on me building that, so stay tuned, watch out for that. It's uh, gonna be a sick, it's gonna be a s awesome sick computer. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's have a look. Just been too busy editing photos and doing some videos, so I haven't built it yet, but I've got to start, I've got to find time to build it. So where's it, we're export it to. It takes a while to load it. All right, cool, that's that's it. See, I, I, liked, I liked how I um, got rid of that really past shadow on the corner there. But what I did here, uh, if you can see here, just where I'm standing, that shadow wasn't as dark as that, and I darkened it a little bit more. So it sort of, it, it's, it looks like I'm, I'm casting that shadow against my light a lot more. I reckon it brings a bit more interest into the photo. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway guys, hopefully you liked this uh, video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I answer all everyone's questions. Uh, in the comments, so uh, give us a thumbs up, it really helps uh, with my uh, YouTube video engagement and ex exposure. Um, subscribe if you liked my video. Apart from Astro, I also do landscape photography, drone stuff, GoPro action stuff, and um, yeah, it'll really help grow my channel. So I'm getting more subscribers, but um, the more the merrier, all right? So cool. I'm Patrick Greasy. I'll see you later. Bye. See you guys. I'm from I'm Patrick Greasy from Melbourne, Australia, and I'll see you next time. See you guys. I don't know. I'm trying to like think of a of a uh, you know a way to end my videos, but yeah, whatever. See ya. <laughs> Is that even recording?